So everyone, today we're gonna have a look at the neat Galaxy S4 lookalike settings app. Now this app was shared by the following person, I'm sorry but I cannot spell his name. It's just too confusing. Anyways, this is a app I believe once again exported from a Chinese device. It is working on the Galaxy Y. Um, basically you just install the APK once you download your SD card and it creates a shortcut in your app drawer. As you can see it has the same settings icon and as well as the naming. It doesn't replace your original settings application though. But you can set this as a system map and you can replace your actual settings with this if you like it. So let's have a look. So this is what we get at first. So if you're having problems you may contact the person in this email here. So this is what we get here. Now as you can see we have the tabs here at the top. Unfortunately they're not in English. But I suppose that can easily be translated when someone manages to modify the APK. Anyways, now the first tab as you can see is for wireless and networks and here we have got the Wi-Fi toggles, the Bluetooth toggles and the mobile data buttons. Now uh, obviously when you go here you won't see a graph because you don't have such app but it does take you to the mobile network settings. And down here on more settings we have airplane mode, tethering and portable hotspots and VPN. And at the top here, these toggles are actually working, so when you enable this for the Bluetooth, you can see how the Bluetooth icon will appear, as well as the Wi-Fi. So the, these are proven to work. Let's have a look at the second tab, which is for personalization. As you can see, we have an option here to set wallpaper for the display, for sounds, accessibility, and language and input. And uh, like I said, all of these options are actually working just fine. When you tap on set wallpaper, it actually opens up something. Same for display and everything else here, as you can see. Next, we've got the accounts, which has accounts and sync, add account option, backup and reset. So once again, all of these options are working just fine. They all take you to the menus. And last, we have permissions tab. As you can see, location service, security application manager, battery storage, date and time, developer options, and about device. All of these, once again, are working just fine, as you can see. It's all working. So there you have it, a very neat settings app, which you can also convert as a system app, and you can place it somewhere on your app drawer, and you can actually use this instead of the original settings, if you like this more than the original settings, obviously. You can use an app such as Titanium Backup, when you won't press on the app, and you tap on Convert to System App. And that is all, I hope you enjoyed this video guys, if you want to download this app you can download it from the link in the video description and if you want to see more videos you may hit the subscribe button, if you want to see more Android news you may go to androidjunkie.org and you can always check out the blog for the latest Galaxy Y updates. Thank you for watching and goodbye.